now your host, April Calgar! Okay, man, look at all you guys out there today. Thanks for coming. We got a big show for you today. Uh, I'm going to do a little survey by a round of applause. How many of you guys are going to the parade tomorrow? Woo! caused controversy with a tweet that said, if 70% of NBA teams folded tomorrow, no one would notice. Uh, except for the increase in street crime. <laughs> That's not even the joke. <laughs> That's the real part, guys. But he was quick to apologize. He said uh, he didn't mean all the basketball players were criminals. He just meant to say all black people are criminals. <laughs> right? Okay. Michelle Bachman uh, said this week that she is tired of gay people bullying America. So in a related story, Michelle Bachman uh, doesn't know what bullying is. <laughs> it's clear. Anyway, veterinarians in Australia, we're, we're talking about the animals today. Veterinarians in Australia saved a dog from kidney failure uh, this week by feeding the dog vodka. <laughs> yeah. Vet said they knew the dog was drunk when he wouldn't stop yapping about he could have been wishbone. <laughs> what a jerk. Colorado collected $3.5 million in tax revenues and fees in the first month of legal marijuana sales. Woo! Okay. Uh, Colorado asked surrounding states if they collected additional tax revenue, and they answered no. Colorado said it'd be a whole lot cooler if you did. <laughs> Uh, Keith Richards announced that he will be writing a series of books for children. <laughs> for those of you who haven't been out, who've been out of the game for a while, today's children's books are mostly about whiskey and chlamydia. <laughs> yeah. Wait, can you bring that back? Up? Okay, you take it away. Uh, but he was thinking about calling the book "Everybody Snorts." Because <laughs> of the drugs, right? Oh, I don't know. Is it? <laughs> um, the movie Frozen, anybody see that? Yeah. It is good. I love it. <laughs> okay, so the movie Frozen is being criticized by a Mormon mom blogger who says the film is promoting the gay agenda to normalize homosexuality. When asked to name an example, she said, well, look how hot Elsa is. <laughs> and uh, you guys, that was the news this week. All right, that was